Earnest Money Deposit with Caleb Bondarenko. Earnest Money Deposit, sometimes called a good faith deposit, is a deposit made on the purchase of a home that represents a buyer's good faith to follow through with their offer. Earnest Money Deposit is also referred to by the acronym EMD. EMD is not required for a purchase agreement to be valid although it is a common practice. EMD is typically between 1 and 5% of the purchase price, but can be as low or high as you want, as long as it is agreed upon between the buyer and the seller. In a multiple offer situation, a higher EMD could stand out to a seller as a reason for choosing that offer over another similar offer. The EMD can be deposited with the purchase agreement or within a specific time after signing the purchase agreement. The EMD is deposited into an escrow account, usually with the real estate broker, title insurance company, or an escrow company. The EMD can be non-refundable if specifically stated in the purchase agreement and agreed to by all parties. Assuming all goes well with the transaction, the EMD will go towards the buyer's down payment and closing costs at closing. If the deal doesn't go to closing, then depending on the reason will most likely determine how the EMD is distributed. If the deal includes financing, then there will probably be a financing contingency that states if the buyer cannot get the financing outlined in the purchase agreement, then the agreement will be void and buyer will be refunded their EMD. If the deal includes an inspection contingency or due diligence period, this could allow for the buyer to be entitled to a refund of their EMD if they choose to back out of the deal within the specified time period. There are many different purchase agreements and they will all have different contingencies and the way that they are worded. Some may favor the buyer, some may favor the seller. Always carefully read contingencies and understand what will happen to the EMD in each of these situations. The EMD can also go to the seller if the buyer doesn't follow the terms of the purchase agreement. If the buyer defaults after all the contingencies have been removed and it is not the fault of the seller, the seller will want the EMD to go to them and not back to the buyer. Seller will have lost the time on the market where they could have been working with another buyer. Also, they will have lost the holding costs accumulated within this period. This could include taxes, insurance, HOA fees, utilities, and if the seller has a mortgage, consider the daily interest accrued. For the EMD to be distributed, both parties will need to sign a mutual release as you see here. It shows the EMD amount, buyer and seller, and what amount of the EMD will go to each party. Once this is signed completely, it is given to the escrow agent and the funds will be released accordingly. What happens if there is a dispute and the buyer and seller cannot agree on who should get the EMD? Funds will not be released unless agreed upon in writing by both buyer and seller. In the case that an agreement cannot be made, funds will be held until a court order is received. It's called an interpleader action, and that's when the EMD holder asks the court to determine the ownership rights of multiple claimants to the same EMD. I hope you don't ever run into that last scenario and all your deals go smoothly but it is good to know what can happen in that type of situation. I suggest carefully examining any agreement before you sign. Be aware and try to understand what will happen to the EMD in every situation. Always seek professional help. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you would like to be notified about more videos in the future, please subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to comment me or message me with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.